Cuba's always bringing you exclusives. I'm bringing you first-hand exploration of different types of chains, licks, pendants, plugs, etc. Now, I happen to have my hand on a... This might be a game changer for some people. Everybody's stuck with the traditions. Traditions work. Clearly, I love traditional pieces. I love the Cuban link, very traditional. I love the rope. Very traditional. And then we got, obviously, the Diamond Cuff Franco. Also traditional. These are all pieces that keep a special place in our heart. But every now and then, something comes across my table that is a little bit different. And just adds a little bit of enhancement. A boob job. A facelift. A little bit of a tuck. So let's roll my motherfucking music, because I'm about to call this shit the Cubano rope. But it's really a prism cut rope. I'm kind of a big deal. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to the U to the B to the A. And this is for video's sake. I would never wear a chain with this much gapping in between because it just doesn't look right. But this is a gorgeous five millimeter, 24 inch diamond cut rope from Peru, which we all know and love. Great traditional piece and looks fantastic with the Cubano pendant from So Icy. Now, if you guys follow me for a while, you know I like a little bit of flavor. I like an artistic edge. I like something slightly different. Doesn't have to be dramatically different, but something a little different. And obviously with this platform and my interest in jewelry, I get put on to different things and certain things come across my line of sight that I'm like, oh, I need to see that in person. Remember the prism cut Franco chain, AKA the Saint Franco that I got from Saints Gold? So if that prism cut Franco really took shit by storm, imagine a prism cut rope. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to what I'm going to be calling the Cubano rope, AKA the prism cut rope. This joint is crazy. Look at the cut style on this rope and that two-tone style look the light that bounces off of this piece is wild, crazy, insane. This is an FJ stamp, it's Peru. This one is 10 karat gold. And the light that comes off this piece is straight wild. Now this one looks to be about six millimeters. Let me take the measurements of this joint. This one is over six millimeters in width, about 24 inches in length. And once again, it has that two-tone prism cut look. And if you put it side by side with a traditional diamond cut rope, you can clearly see that there is a significant difference on the shine factor. Granted, this one is still a little bit dirty from wear, but not that much. It's just the two-tone and prism cut on this rope is just significantly more present than this one. Now, this one having that two-tone look might throw people off because they like more of this traditional look, but this is what adds to that light refraction and that super shine factor that people are looking for. So if you're the type of person who's into these moonbead chains or the ice link with all the cuts that add that crazy shine to make it look like you've got a bunch of tennis chains or a bunch of diamonds on that, this rope chain is going to give you that exact look for the traditional platform. That shine factor in the sun, now that we're in summertime vibes, is just hitting so different. Now just keep in mind, this is not for the traditionalist. If you're an old school traditionalist, this is not something you need in your arsenal. This is for somebody who's looking for something a little bit different with a lot more shine. This is somebody who loves the moon beads and the ice links that are looking for that shine factor without having to bust anything down and is looking for a unique quality and possibly a sort of two-tone look. Now, the thing about this is, although it's a two-tone look, 
it leans more on the yellow aspect. The cuts are what adding that two-tone dip kind of look, but I'm very curious to know how these cuts actually take place. Is it some sort of angle wheel that they do it? Uh, how the machine sends it? I really don't know how cuts are created. I'm not a jeweler, nor did I ask. This is definitely a fire piece that Daniel Jewelry Inc. is now going to start carrying, along with your favorite and mine, that prism cut Franco. in a variety of sizes, ranging from two millimeters all the way up, including the bracelets. Prism cut Franco bracelets. Now this is a nine millimeter. This one is not going to fit me at all. A little too small for my liking. It's approximately 3.7 millimeters, but still, even from a distance, it kind of looks a little bit like a tennis bracelet look. Very shiny. I need to put this prism cut rope on my pendant because obviously my pendant's got a little bit of ice on it. If I could add a little element of additional shine to it without having to add any additional diamonds, and maybe it'll separate and give it some character, then this shit might be staying with your boy. I don't know. I feel like upgrading to prisms all across the board, whether it's prism cut Frankos and now prism cut ropes, it's a great possibility. Look at just putting it on my neck. Just putting it on my neck. You can see the lights that is catching off the studio. Look at this shit. I'm not even trying right now. I'm just moving. So if we're doing this side-by-side -side comparison, let me put the traditional diamond cut. The rope is hitting, but it ain't hitting like this prism cut. Mmm, I don't know. This might be some sort of upgrade status. Neck profile! What do you guys think of the prism cut rope? Is this your type of shit? Is this something that's really gonna change the game up? Cause I don't think anybody else has brought you a prism cut rope and I've been looking around, not many people carry this prism cut rope. So Daniel Jewelry Inc. will be one of the exclusive people for now to carry that. Obviously the Franco, I first saw it with um, Saints Gold, but now they're really all over the place. It kind of happened like that with the Ice Link too. I saw it first at Daniel Jewelry Inc. and then a ton of other carriers had it. Not saying that they're the first ones that they had it. I saw it first there and then literally like like every other algorithm if you post one picture it'll show you 78 places that have ice links way before so let me show you the three sizes that they currently have available for the prism cut frankles we're looking at two three and 3.7 millimeter i don't know if they have any more bigger sizes or if they're getting any more in stock but i know these are available right now and as far as ropes is concerned, I don't know what kind of inventory. I requested one specifically to be able to see it in person and see if this is something that I wanna get into and I might have to. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know what you think of the whole prism cut scene and if this is your type of vibe and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Who the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough brother that raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.